What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We've got Walk by Pantera. This time taught by my good buddy, Jamie Slays, who's been doing some great specialized heavy metal lessons here at uh, the channel. Uh, he's also got his own channel, so check that out in the description. Subscribe to Jamie Slay's channel. And also let us know in the comments other just like heavy, heavy stuff you'd like to see Jamie cover here on the channel. And thanks for supporting Marty Music. Take it away, Jamie. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Jamie Slays here today on Marty Schwartz's YouTube channel to teach you how to play Walk by Pantera. Walk by Pantera is one of their most recognisable songs to date. The song is D standard on a six string guitar. Now I know what you're thinking, Jamie, Pantera playing that weird tuning, how is this going to work? In this video I've got my Ibanez Iron Label in D standard, I'm not playing in the crazy concert pitch tuning that Dimebag would have played in. If you're going to play along to backing tracks I would recommend using drums and guitar ones rather than the actual song or tune your guitar accordingly. I think they use 435 or C sharp standard plus 40 cents if you've got a digital tuner. Walk is a great song to learn. It's fairly straightforward, but the solo is a bit tricky. We won't be covering the solo today because that's insanely difficult. Maybe I'll learn it and then teach you on my channel, Jamie Slays. But without further ado, let's get into it. Walk by Pantera. I'll see you at the end and we can talk about it a bit some more. Here is riff one played at full speed. <laughs> Here is riff one played slowly. Now this riff is pretty much the entire song. There's variations of it and there's different ways to play it throughout the whole song, but I'll break it down for you right now. So in a Dimebag book that I have, there's the right way, the wrong way and the Dimebag way. The wrong way, technically, is this. Because Dimebag is actually doing super wide bends. So as you saw in that uh, fast and slow version, you play open string. And then zero, one, super bend, back down to zero. So it's kind of like a one and a half step bend, which is quite difficult on the first fret because there's not a lot of movement in this section. If you're doing it here, that's a lot easier. But if you're doing it here, you might even have to try and squeeze two fingers in. But doing it with one finger is quite difficult. So maybe have thinner gauge strings if you can. So broken down, as you see, as you see, my guitar moves quite a bit and that's because you can be quite vigorous with the bends. That bit is kind of just like a slide, but he does it a lot live and in songs where he goes all the way down and gives a kind of cool girthy bend down at the 24th fret. This is riff two played at full speed. This riff is essentially the same as the first section, but slightly different. Here is the second riff of the song played slowly. So similar to the first riff in that section of the song, you do the open and then the bends. But then we go up to power chords up on the A string. So we've got the D string bend. So we go up to the third fret power chord. Then we do the bend again. 
first fret power chord. Then we have essentially an inverted power chord, um, which is just these two notes here. So it's just one and one. And then we go to power chords of one, three, and four. Then you play that section again, but you repeat the ending twice. So when you play the power chords, I would palm you just the low D string in between. And then you do a kind of stifled uh, palm muted note in between the chords. Then we have the pre-chorus, which is essentially riff three, goes like so at full speed. So here is that pre-chorus played slowly. So again, this bending of the first fret is very prominent in the entire song. Um, but we start out that section coming out of the previous section with, you can do it two ways. You can either play five, five, seven on the low D, which makes, it's one of those chords that makes it sound like it's in a lower tuning that it's actually in. Or you can do it the way I like doing it, which is up on the zero, zero, two on the open A. To repeat that, it's either. Again. Then we have the ending of that section, which is basically the same, but the chords change at the end. So we have this section full speed. Now we'll just play that section slowly to make it easier to understand. So we come out of this section. So you come out of that chord again, and then we go to the first fret or the sixth fret, depending on which way you're playing it, or this. Then we go down to the third fret, which is three, five, five, or just three, five, it's up to you. And then two, one. It's kind of like a bluesy chromatic run down to go back to the original riff again. So playing it again. Then we go back to the main riff, which is the standard. But there's a slight change as you'll listen as you hear the uh, song when you play it through, but I'll show you how it's played now. So we do the standard riff. Then we play the kind of main verse riff again, but there's a slight variation at the end. Listen out for this one. So that's the same bend as we've been doing the whole way through the song. And then we do this chord again. Well, we haven't actually done this chord yet. We've done a similar chord, which is the root note. Kind of like a power chord on the A string, but with the extra low note underneath. So this time we do it with a six, six and eight. So he plays it like this. 
It's unclear in the recording if that's the chord he's playing or if it's just kind of a but I'm pretty sure that sounds as close as you can get it. Which is 668. And before each chord you kind of scrape. So I'll show you the right hand so you can see what's going on. You're almost scraping nothing before it. Then we go back to the chord section that goes into the main riff. Then we go back to that extra section again. Then we have the build up to the solo. Remember, I won't be playing the solo in this video because it's really hard and I haven't fully learned it yet, but I'll do my best to have a go at learning it and feature it on my channel, James Lays. But what we have at that bit, again, listen out for the song for the way you accurately play it, but you have this. And then we go to the solo. So it's the same as the previous bit, but played, I think, four times. Then we have the solo, which has bass underneath it, like a true four piece. There's no uh, backing guitar to that section. So there's no riff to learn underneath the solo. Then Dimebag does epic bends, goes back to the main riff of the reintro. Then he repeats the chorus again, which is this bit. And now we're coming up to the outro of the song. So we come out of the uh, main riff again, the So here is the outro played at full speed. So the outro for this song is a, a section that kind of fades out at the end. Um, it sounds two different ways to me. So there's a way you can play it, which I think it is, which is like so. But based on the fact that this song has got a lot of bends in, instead of things like, it could be a bend of the first fret power chord. But that's really difficult, even if you did it with just one finger. So I think it's some sort of slide. Something like that. But listen out for the song, it fades out, so it's kind of hard to nail it. You might need to watch videos of him playing it as well. But it's either or some sort of dissonant chord, which is like two and three, or just a bend of one and three. And there you have it. That's the end of the lesson for Walk by Pantera. That was Walk by Pantera off the album Vulgar Display of Power. What do you think? A lot of the times the tabs will show you that it's played in drop D, but it is in fact played in D standard, especially with the weird kind of inverted chords and stuff. They work better in a standard tuning than they do in drop D. Doesn't mean you can't play it in drop D, it just means that's the way it was intended. Let us know in the comment section below how you felt about that song. Is it too easy? Is it too difficult? Should we do some more Pantera songs? Like the video if you enjoyed it. That way, the more you like it, the more we know we should just do more Pantera. Don't forget to subscribe to Marty's channel because I'll be doing more metal lesson videos every single month. Come on over to my channel, Jamie Slays, and follow if you like metal riffs and all things metal guitar. And I'll see you guys very soon for another metal riff lesson. Bye, everyone. All right, thanks again, Jamie Slays. Really appreciate you uh, adding your metal touch to the Marty Music channel. Uh, also, uh, you guys go support Jamie at his own channel. Check the, uh, the link in the description below. Also, appreciate you supporting Marty Music right here. Uh, please take care and hope to see you again.